Hey, I was going to do a short tutorial on how to make these angel wings that uh, many of you have seen online and were asking me for a tutorial. Mine are very basic and simple. Um, you can use whatever flowers you want or even a cross or maybe a nameplate or whatever depending on the ceremony that you're making it for. Um, these are not glued down yet. I just wanted to show you. They even sell the clip-ons you could do. A lot of you saw that one first. I didn't like that. It was just trying to get my wings online to see some feedback for them. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, so, like I said, nothing's glued down yet. I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing. So, I made these. This is the back. And how I made the back, I'm going to show you in the tutorial. It's super simple. And then this is the front. And like I said, you could use whatever flowers you want. I'm going to show you at the end of the video some different ones that I have. But anyways, so my tutorial, I'm going to do a red set. And the reason I'm doing red is because after Christmas, I got these for a dollar at the Hobby Lobby and I ran out of the white. You could do whatever color you wanted depending on what you're doing it for, like I said. So first, you're going to need wire cutters, duct tape, a pair of scissors, twine, string, anything you have, um, the color tall that you're going to need, two metal hangers, okay? Then you're going to take these hangers and you're going to slightly pull this outward because that's what's going to form your wings. Um, let me see. Give me two seconds. I'm going to try to put my phone somewhere so I can do it and show you. Okay, I think you can see me here. So you're going to take the hanger and pull it. Okay, see the, the wing is starting to shape. Just kind of pull it how you want it and then take the top here push it down a little bit. You might have to push it against your belly or something. That's what I do. All right, so then you kind of got your wing there. Shape it how you want. And then you're going to pull this straight and cut it to here. So you don't need this. Okay, and you're going to do that same technique for your other hanger. Take the hanger, pull it, push it, make it look like a wing. Okay, try to make sure that they're kind of even. And then cut these off. Ugh. Can you see me? I think I say that in every video. Can you see me? Sorry. This is a little, a little bit hard right here. I don't know, maybe I need a better pair of these. There we go. I just wiggle it until it works. Same. Squeeze it. Get that bad boy off of there. We don't need that. Yeah, I think it's time for a new pair of these. Or I need to step up my game on my weightlifting. Okay, so then you have those. Okay, now you have your wings. Now I'm going to grab my phone. Give me one second here. All right. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. All right, I will be back. Then you're going to take your string and you want four rows. Okay, and you're just going to tie them in knots at the end of each side of the hanger there. This is what you're going to attach your tall mesh or whatever you decide that you're going to use for your wings to. Once I tie them in knots, you could super glue it, you could hot glue it. I use duct tape, just little tiny pieces to hold that in place. I'll show you. You can't even really see it once it's done. I suppose on the white, it would be different than the red. See, that's duct tape in there, just holding it. And then these are my strings that I attached it to. One, two, three, and four. And then, of course, you're going to attach it to the hanger itself. All right, so... Just tried to show you. Get one close to the end. Get one right down that middle there. Get one right where the hangers 
a little bit wider here and then I do one closer to the neck. So you're going to wrap your towel. I do slip knots. You might uh, want to do a different technique, but that works for me. All right, and then you're going to do the same thing on here. I do not attach my hangers until I am done getting my wing together. Otherwise, I mean, you're just going to cause yourself a headache. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and knot these up, get them taped up so that they're sturdy. Also, I've been cutting my tall into 12-inch strips. You could probably do 10 if you don't want it as full. You could do 14 if you want it even bigger. Um, give me one second. I'll measure it and let you know how, how wide that is once it's all together. Okay, so before anything's added, let's make sure. I'm going to put that together there. Anything's added, it's about 23 inches wide. Okay, now once you do the decorating part of it, hold on. Okay, so once you get all the tall on there, I'm trying to show you, it's about 30, about 30 inches. About 30 inches, so that adds quite a bit. And that's at 12 inch strips again. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. Hope you can. I know, hope you can see me, Jolie. <laughs> I say it in every video. Tie it, double tie it. You could probably use fishing line too, but um, at my age, it's a little hard for me to see fishing line, so I need something a little more like this. All right. Tie it tight. Come down here, pull it tight. Wrap it around. I wrap it around. Kind of hold it there and then get another knot in there. If I didn't have these nails on, I could really whip through these. I think I made my wings though. Probably an hour, hour and a half. I stopped in between. Oops, I'm sorry, I wasn't even in the video. Yeah, yeah, let's just get this going here. Ay, 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 I'm so sorry. Okay, so rather than watching me fidget with the string because my nails are in the way, I went ahead and stopped the video and then I just assembled the one wing. You're just going to knot it, double knot it, add the tape to secure it. Make sure you pull them tight because this is what you're going to use to attach the tall to. Um, I did not do the second one. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then I'll come back once I cut up my strips and I'll just show you how I apply them. So I'm going to try to show you again. I'm just going to take it tight in a knot. I just double knot it and then I'm going to take a piece of duct tape, a little tiny piece and wrap it around here to secure it right there so it doesn't move when I put on my strips and then I cut that off and then I'm going to do the same thing down here. The only thing is, like I said earlier, make sure that you pull it tight otherwise you're going to have saggy wings and we don't want saggy wings. Sometimes you just got to use what you got available to you and that's what I do a lot in my crafts and you know I mean anybody can run out to Hobby Lobby or, or go online and order a, a wreath frame and you know they sell the wing ones if you don't have time or patience to do it this way but that's not who I am I like to create my own stuff figure out what works for me I'm a mother of five most of them are uh, all adults now I have one little guy Sorry, I lost you. I ran out of storage and had to clean up some of my phone. So then here's the knots and then the tape. So you're just going to take the tape and put it around the knots and squeeze it on there tight. That's just to hold it. I'm sure you can think of other ideas though. It's just what I did. So I'm going to finish doing this and then I will be back 
when I start doing the slip knots and showing you how it all comes together. All right, everybody. So I did cut some strips. They're 12 inches. You can take your wing. You can start in the front of your wing or in the back. I've done it both ways. I guess it's up to you. And then you take it. I fold it. This is a slip knot that I'm doing. Go under here. Pull it through. Pull it tight. Slide it over. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around your wings. Take another one. Make sure they're even. Put it around your wings. Slide it through. And pull it. You're going to keep doing that all the way around this part. And then you're going to do it here, 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 and all the way around here. Whatever works for you. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to work on this for a little bit and then I'll just pop in every now and again and that otherwise you'll be with me all day here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how fast this really is. Once you have your strips cut, you're just going to keep going. Slide it. Grab another one. Same thing. Make sure they're even. Slide it. Pull it. Go to the next one. You can see it coming together already. Alright, just wanted to show you now I did the two. There's the back. I went around the hanger and then I did the first uh, string. So now I'm going to pick it up. And see the white showing right there? I'll just do another one there to hide that. And I need one here too, I see. I just wanted to show you how it's coming along. Here's the first half done. Hello everybody. So I went ahead and finished the red wings <laughs> that I was working on with you. I will show you. They're not attached yet, but they turned out beautiful. I'm not sure which ones I like more. So again, it's just the two separate hangers and you're going to attach them with tape or wire in the middle and then you can leave them plain or add flowers or whatever you'd like. It's yours. But I'm going to show you the back. So see the white duct tape? Big deal though. I mean, I'm sure they sell red duct tape or, or however you guys want to attach it. But just make sure you do the hanger and do something to support your rows. And I do four. And my strips are cut in 12 inches. And you just assemble it. I did the slip knot. I love them. They are so pretty in person. It's done with the tull, T-U-L-L-E. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, anywhere. Um, they look feathery, which is what I like without the mess of the feathers so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial please like share and comment